When it comes to food, Paris knows exactly what to do and how to do it. With over 45,000 restaurants and cafes, and over 120 Michelin-starred restaurants, there are plenty of delicious, high-end, and affordable options to try. Hey everyone, my name is Antoinette and welcome back to my channel. At Frolic and Courage, I help you plan well, have fun, and travel the world. In this video, I'm going to share everywhere we ate during my family's first trip to Paris to help inspire you to check out a few restaurants for your next trip. To give you an idea of how much an average meal costs in Paris, I'll put the prices on the screen. I'll also share helpful Paris restaurant tips like, do you tip in Paris? What food is Paris famous for? And how do you ask for the check in Paris along the way? So let's jump straight into it. Our first stop is at Angelina. Angelina is a historic Parisian tea room and patisserie renowned for its luxurious hot chocolate and exquisite pastries. There are multiple locations around Paris, but we visited the Rue de Rivoli shop within walking distance from the Musée du Louvre in the first arrondissement. To understand Paris arrondissement and how to get around Paris on a budget, watch my video in the Planning a Trip to Paris playlist. I'll link it in the description box below and at the end of this video. In Paris and across France in general, you'll find a diverse range of dining establishments. To help you plan well for your trip to Paris, here's a quick overview of each. Bistros Casual and cozy, bistros are known for serving hearty, traditional French comfort food in a relaxed atmosphere. Brasseries Similar to bistros but often larger and more bustling, Brasseries offer a wider menu that includes seafood and regional specialties, accompanied by a lively ambiance. Cafes Found on almost every corner, cafes are ideal for enjoying a leisurely coffee or an affordable light meal, often with outdoor seating, perfect for people watching. Fine dining restaurants These establishments focus on hot cuisine featuring refined dishes with artistic presentations, often in elegant settings, and they come at a premium price. Patisseries Specializing in pastries and desserts, patisseries, like Angelina, offer an array of delicate tarts, cakes, and macarons paired with hot chocolate, coffee, or tea at a reasonable price. And sometimes sell quick bites to eat, too. Cuisine de terroir Celebrating regional ingredients and flavors, these eateries highlight local specialties and traditional recipes passed down through generations. Then we have Michelin-starred restaurants, known for exceptional culinary artistry and impeccable service. These expensive, top-tier restaurants offer an unforgettable gastronomic experience, often requiring reservations well in advance. Now that you know the different types of eateries in Paris, let's get back to our lunch at Angelina. Tastes like a, ch uh, a, a chocolate bar. sugar in it though it just seems like pure smooth like chocolate very very good and the whipped cream is no lobsters naturally smooth excellent and that is the truth there are no lumps this is not your swiss miss everybody this is really really good so especially with the cream it's so good looks good huh? Yes, it's delicious. French onion soup, and then we have the uh, white chunk. This is the salmon puff pastry. This looks so good. I mean, look at this. Oh, delightful with the sauce. We have the Caesar salad here, and the mashed potato. That chicken bread. On to our next stop at Au Bourguignon du Marais, a cozy bistro in the Marais district offering traditional cuisine from Burgundy with a warm, rustic ambiance. While we're here, let's talk about the next question. What food is famous in Paris? 
What are foods that are popular in France? While you're in Paris, here's a few classic French dishes to try, starting with breads. The baguette, a long, thin loaf of French bread with a crispy crust and soft interior. Of course, you have to try a croissant, a flaky, buttery crescent-shaped pastry that just melts in your mouth. For appetizers, try the escargot, which are snails cooked in garlic butter often served as an appetizer. And let me know in the comments down below, would you try the escargot? Let me know. French onion soup. A rich soup made with caramelized onions and beef broth topped with melted cheese and croutons, just like you saw at Angelina. For meat dishes, try the beef bourguignon, a hearty stew made with beef braised in red wine, often with carrots, onions, and mushrooms. Duck confit. Duck legs slow cooked in their own fat until they are fork tender, falling off the bone. Steak frites or entrecote steak. A classic dish of grilled ribeye steak served with french fries or frites, ordered by Dennis. When you're in Paris, know that there's a few different ways to order a steak. If you order a steak blue, you've ordered a rare steak. Saignon is medium rare, a point is medium, and bien cuit is well done. As far as pastries or sweets, try the crepes when you're in Paris. They're a thin, delicate pancake that can be filled with sweet or savory ingredients. Macarons. They are light, airy meringue cookies filled with flavorful ganache, buttercream, or jam. You can order them individually or by the dozen. They're so good. And then we have my all-time favorite, the creme brulee. A creamy vanilla custard topped with a layer of caramelized sugar and sometimes fruit. We'll try a number of classic foods at Au Bourguignon and throughout this video. Take a look. Smoking hot. My goodness. Good. Get, get whatever you'd like. Just ice cream. I have vanilla and mango sorbet ice cream. And Kevin has the profiterol. Mm. Yummy. Next up is Chez Georges, a classic French brasserie known for its timeless decor and hearty traditional dishes. That leads us to our next question Do you ask for the check in France? And if so, how do you ask for a check at a Paris restaurant? Well, to answer the first question, yes, you must ask for the check in Paris. It will not automatically be placed on your table. To do so, you can say, la décision s'il vous plaît, or the check please, or make eye contact with your waiter and signal like you are writing a check, and then they'll come over and bring your check to your table. And furthermore, do you tip at a restaurant in Paris? And no, not really. A service charge is included on the bill, labeled as service compris, so you don't really have to leave a tip. 
However, if you feel so led by excellent service, feel free to leave about a five to 10% tip. Now that we know how to ask for the check and whether or not to tip, let's continue on with this delicious meal at Chez Georges. My goodness, we stuffed our bellies full. Now let's travel about 30 to 45 minutes outside of Paris to La Flotille, a charming restaurant located near the Grand Canal at the Palace of Versailles. It's perfect for a delightful meal after exploring the palace and the grounds. Having our food, I have the steak frites here, and Kevin's got the vegetarian pizza with Fanta's. Marcy's got the salad and the duck thigh confit. Mom, you guys have the pizza royale, right? Yeah, pizza royale. Uh huh. And Dad has the fish and chips. Fish and chips. I'll get a bite. Let's go. Here we go. So you may notice the cup of water in the bottom left hand of the screen. That leads us to our next question. Can you drink the tap water in Paris? And the answer is yes. The tap water in Paris is safe to drink. When at a restaurant in Paris, the wait staff may automatically give you a bottled water, which you will be charged for every bottle of water you drink with a total cost added to your bill. If you want free water, ask for un carafe d'eau which is a pitcher of tap water for the table with free refills. I love my creme brulee. Yeah, yeah. Delicious creme brulee. Then we have the crepe maison. Wow. This is the crepe normal. Crepe normal. Crepe maison. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so we just dined at a park, so now let's switch things up and go to Le Trend Bleu, an opulent belly polk restaurant inside Gare de Lyon, serving gourmet French cuisine in a lavish historical setting. We went here to celebrate my mother's birthday for dinner, and so that leads us to our next question. What time do they eat dinner in Paris? And what are the breakfast, lunch, and dinner hours in Paris? Meal times typically follow these general patterns. Breakfast, or le petit déjeuner, is usually between 7 to 10 a.m. with cafes, bakeries, serving pastries, coffee, and light meals. Lunch, or déjeuner, is commonly between 12 and 2 p.m. with many restaurants offering a two or three course prefix menus or quick lunch options that will save you money. Just ask for the plat du jour or dish of the day or simply check out the chalkboard menu right outside the restaurant to see what the specials are. Dinner, or dîner, typically starts from 7 to 8 p.m. onwards, with restaurants filling up later in the evening, like until around 11 p.m. These times can vary depending on the establishment and the neighborhood, but they give you a good guideline for meal times in Paris. I learned the hard way that restaurants in Paris are not open 24-7. As a matter of fact, they close between 2 and 6 p.m. I searched for miles trying to find somewhere decent to eat, and I eventually found something, but I learned an important lesson. Always do your research in advance to figure out what the meal times are in a city. And if you happen to be in between hours like I was, then go to a patisserie, a boulangerie, or a fast food restaurant. Since we're at this beautiful restaurant, what do you wear for dinner in Paris? Most establishments in Paris don't enforce a strict dress code, so you have the freedom to wear what you like. However, Parisians are known for their impeccable style and preference for refined casual attire. What might pass as casual wear in the US, like hoodies, flip-flop shorts, may not fit well in Parisian dining settings. When deciding what to wear for dinner in Paris, consider the restaurant's ambiance and aim for smart casual attire. Opt for simple, well-fitting clothing, such as a stylish dress, a shirt paired with jeans or trousers, or even a skirt. It's best to avoid overly casual outfits. And remember to always dress according to the restaurant's ambiance. 
I have to add the lamb at La Tremblou is phenomenal. So now that we've been on land, let's take it to the water at Bateau Parisien on a Seine River dinner cruise. Bateau Parisien is a romantic dining experience on a riverboat, offering gourmet meals and stunning views of Paris landmarks along the Seine River. Speaking of iconic landmarks, what is a Paris restaurant with an Eiffel Tower view? Or rather, what are a few Parisian restaurants with the best views of the Eiffel Tower? I'm gonna give you a few here and don't worry about writing anything down because I put all this information, including everything in this video, in my blog with all the links that you can check out on your own. So, the best Paris restaurants with an Eiffel Tower view are Café de L'Homme. Overlooking the Eiffel Tower from the Trocadero Gardens, Café de L'Homme offers a sophisticated dining experience with French cuisine and panoramic views. It's located in the 16th arrondissement and costs between 40 to 100 euros. And as you can probably guess, getting an Eiffel Tower view does not come at a cheap price. Then there's Giraffe. Giraffe combines seafood specialties with Art Deco elegance near the Trocadero, offering views of the Eiffel Tower and the Seine River in the 16th arrondissement with prices ranging between 50 and 120 euros. Then we have Les Hommes. Located at the Musée de Quai Branly, Les Hommes features modern French cuisine and a terrace with stunning views of the Eiffel Tower. It's located in the 7th arrondissement and prices range between 60 and 150 euros. As you can see, Bateau Parisien offers a stunning view of the Eiffel Tower from the Seine River. As we're waving goodbye to the boats that pass us by, we're gonna have a little dessert, and then let's talk about the dining do's and don'ts in Paris. the do's. Definitely make reservations, especially when in a group. We were in a group of five and we were so glad that we made reservations to all the places we listed here today, except for La Flotille in Versailles. Reservations are a must in Paris, especially if you have a place that you really want to dine at and don't skip them. And speaking of reservations, how exactly do you make reservations? First thing you want to do is go on the restaurant website. Some restaurants want you to call them to make reservations, others prefer email, and still other restaurants have an online form. You can use dining apps like La Fourchette, and I made two reservations using La Fourchette, and it's the French version of the fork, or you can use Open Table. Another dining do is to always greet restaurant staff with a bonjour or bonsoir, or a good morning or good evening. Knowing a little bit of French in Paris will get you a long way. Also, have patience when dining out. Dining out in Paris is a slow, well-timed event. The Parisians take their food and their dining seriously. So slow down and enjoy your dinner. Expect to stay for about two to three hours. And remember when you ask for the check, say la décision s'il vous plaît, and they will bring you the check. Also know that a decent amount of restaurants are closed on Sunday and Monday, and some may take the entire month of August off or even late July to August for vacation. So always check the website for those dining hours, make those reservations, or call them in advance to see if they are open during the dates for your trip. Now let's get into the dining don'ts. Don't insult the waiters by calling them garçon. I don't even know where that even came from, but garçon means boy in French, and it's very rude. So it's kind of like telling the wait stuff, hey boy, boy, get over here boy, and then you bark your order, don't, don't do that, that is very rude. Because dining is meant to be enjoyed, waiters will serve you and then seemingly disappear. To get a waiter's attention, don't say garçon, just make eye contact and nod your head. Or if you want to, just slightly raise your hand and your finger and the wait staff will come to you. Also, don't be too loud. Like I mentioned before, dining is meant to be enjoyed and the Parisians are really respectful of others' dining experience. So just be mindful of the pitch and the tone and the volume of your voice. Also, don't expect massive portions or ask for more food. You may not encounter a restaurant that gives you these massive portions. Everything is going to be a perfectly portion to what we probably should be eating. <laughs> 
So don't ask for more food unless you want to pay for more food. Don't wait until the last minute to book reservations, especially at Michelin starred restaurants where reservations open up months in advance for some places. If you want to eat somewhere, book early and get the best time slot for your trip. Don't assume every meal you eat in Paris will be excellent. I've had a terrible meal on my first trip to Paris because I failed to research restaurants in advance. Thankfully, you will not have that problem because you're watching this video and already have a few restaurants to look into to kickstart your Paris trip. Planning a trip to Paris takes time and there's some things you definitely need to know. So stay tuned because my next video, I'll give you the full rundown, how to plan a trip to Paris. And we're gonna talk about pricing, accommodations, where to stay, what to do, what to expect, and everything. If you found this video helpful, share it with your Paris travel companions so that they have the information as well. This list is by no means exhaustive, so if you have more Paris dining tips to add, please put them in the comments down below so we can all learn together. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.